Ever since the moment that our universe was created by the Big Bang more than 13.7 billion years ago, scientists have never stopped searching for answers in the process of our formation. For all the mysteries that have emerged regarding the black void that seems to surround us, they did not stop our minds from imagining the most terrifying aliens, TV shows, and science fiction concepts. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some of the latest advancements in the field of space exploration. Hayabusa 2 Probe Brings Back Asteroid Rugu Over 9 million miles away and standing at 2,952 feet wide is the diamond-shaped asteroid rock known as Rugu. Its name comes from a Japanese folktale in which a fisherman visits a magical underwater castle and brings back a mysterious box. In a way, that folktale has now come to life. However, instead of a fisherman being sent up in the vast vacuum of space, a Japanese spacecraft named Hayabusa 2 was propelled up there instead. What it brought back was not a mysterious box, but something much larger. The surface and interior rock samples of the asteroid itself could help scientists gain a deeper understanding of how our solar system and life as we know it originated. Yet, the journey was anything but easy for the spacecraft and scientists alike. After Hayabusa 2 contacted the asteroid, a capsule detached from the main spaceship that would be responsible for the collection. From there, the capsule would be on its own to brave a year-long journey all the way back to Earth with its precious cargo. After an anxious, long wait, a group of Japanese scientists used their tools to track the capsule down with radio waves and maps. What they were mainly on the lookout for was a visual display of the distinctive fireball that the capsule would create through the atmosphere. It turns out that it would land in the Woomera prohibited area in South Australia. Yet, despite their findings, the scientists could not help but bite their nails and remain uneasy for several reasons. For one, the weather did not seem to be on cooperative terms. Thanks to a recent heavy storm, the heavy rains and clouds could make the retrieval process far more difficult. However, in a twist of luck, the skies cleared. Now, as the big day progressed, scientists tensely urged the sun to rise so that their beacon signals could accurately be transmitted to the waiting receivers. Finally, after what felt like a lifetime, the sun rose to finally illuminate a stunning fireball that streaked across the pre-dawn skies. Once it experienced a perfect crash landing on Woomera's red soil, scientists immediately jumped into action to disarm potential triggers and fly it all the way to Japan. They could not wait to examine the samples for all the potential stories and discoveries it could reveal about science as we know it. After a nearly six-year-long voyage, they could finally unlock all the mysteries that were hiding within the rocks. Yet even though the capsule of the Hayabusa 2 made it home, the main spaceship is still out there in the dark above our heads on its solitary extended mission. It plans to contact two more asteroids in 2026 and 2031, hoping to unlock more answers to the mysteries that have puzzled mankind for thousands of years. The exoplanet TOI-1231b Out of all the space mysteries that haunt our minds, perhaps one of the biggest revolves around a single question. Are we truly alone in this seemingly endless black void? That thought alone might evoke scary images of aliens and potential space warfare. However, scientists have yet to discover those classic big-headed and big-eyed aliens. What they have found instead is their everlasting search for life beyond Earth are several planets that could fundamentally change how we view atmospheric composition and planetary formation. One of those planets, or should we say exoplanets, is called planet TOI-1231b, existing at just 90 light-years away. It orbits around a red dwarf star and is about three and a half times the size of Earth. In comparison to what we know in our solar system, it has a similar gaseous climate to that of Neptune. As noted by scientists, it is one of the coolest and comparatively small planets known to date. 
Exoplanets are large bodies extending beyond our solar system that orbit other stars. In general, they mostly exist in a small region of our Milky Way galaxy in the thousands and rising. As the technologies of space exploration only get more advanced and ambitious, we could see the number of exoplanets increase to the tens of thousands within a decade. Although we cannot exactly go jump ship and live on planet TOI 1231b due to its small size, its Neptune-sized existence offers a fantastic opportunity for scientists to capture one of the first barcode-type readings of its atmosphere. Perhaps those readings will help us to locate similar worlds. Rockets to harvest the moon's water ice Ever since astronaut Neil Armstrong uttered the famous phrase, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind on the moon, the landscape of space exploration would never be the same. For the first in history, humans would be looking at Earth from the moon and not the other way round. That moment would only be the catalyst for far more trips to the moon and discoveries about space than the human race would have ever anticipated. When it comes to the grey and cratered orb that we stare up at into the sky every night, scientists are now trying to figure out how astronauts could potentially set up a permanent human presence. Most of that endeavour involves utilising the powerful potential rockets to mine water ice on the moon. After all, what is the existence of life without that precious liquid? Rather than just drinking alone, scientists anticipate that it can also be broken up into its crucial components of hydrogen and oxygen to create rocket fuel. The ice water is thought to be largely abundant in the moon's polar regions, where some crater floors are permanently shadowed. In anticipation of this mission, NASA created its own Break the Ice Lunar Challenge, which would award $500,000 to the most promising resource harvesting concepts. One of the frontrunners appears to be the Marston Lunar Outpost Honeybee robotics team with its innovative rocket mining system. It would attach a rocket engine to a rover that would navigate the terrain for an ice-laden area. Upon reaching its destination, the engine would then blast lunar dirt and gravel into a vacuum-like device that would separate particles of the ice water and store it. In the first phase of the competition, NASA is expected to make its exciting announcement of the winners on August 13th. Soon, before we know it, we might have humans permanently living up there staring back at us as we gaze on at the moon with wonder and mystery. But what do you make of these three thrilling space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.